Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski. Still working with uh, transversals of parallel lines in section O of IXL's 8th grade math. We're going to find angle measures today. Alright, IK and LN are parallel and they're cut by this transversal, HO. They give us the measure of angle NMJ is 50 degrees. Okay, so the measure of angle NMJ is 50 degrees. That's this angle right here. It's 50 degrees. As soon as we see that, we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, we know a lot of things. This angle, also 50 degrees, because it's a vertical angle to NMJ. This angle right here, 50 degrees, because it is a alternate interior angle with NMJ. And this angle right here, 50 degrees, because it is a corresponding angle with NMJ. The other thing we know is that all the other angles are 130 degrees because they will be supplementary to NMJ. As in, they form a straight line with those blue angles, so they add up to 180 degrees. So what's being asked of us? NMO. NMO. And that is a 130 degree angle. It is yep, um, supplementary to angle NMJ. So 130 degrees. And they pretty much all kind of work like that. Um, I'll show you some different examples though. Here we've got KM and HJ are parallel. They're cut by this transversal NG. So a lot of those angles are going to be created again. Um, all of them actually. NMJ, the measure of MLN rather, I'm sorry, is 121 degrees. MLN, that's this one. That means this is 121 degrees. This is 121 degrees. This is 121 degrees. And this is 120 degrees. These are vertical angles. Okay. This is a corresponding angle to NMJ, and this is an alternate exterior angle to NMJ. The rest of the angles are going to be 59 degrees because they, again, will be supplementary to NMJ. So all of these will be 59 degrees. So the only thing we're charged with is finding out what, which one it is. Is it 59 or is it 121? So KLN is what we're looking for. KLN is a 59 degree angle. It's supplementary to NLM. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. Measure of angle MNQ is 109.8. MNQ, that's this one. Vertical. Corresponding. Alternate interior. All of those are 109.8. All the other angles are going to be 180 minus 109.8, which would be 70.2. So this is 70.2, 70.2 because it's corresponding to that, 70.2 because it's uh, alternate exterior with that one, 70.2 because it's a vertical angle. So PQS, PQS, that is a corresponding angle to our original one. So it's going to have the same measure, 109.8. The measure of angle NMJ is 50 degrees. NMJ, that's this one. Okay, well, LMO is vertical to NMJ, so equivalent. Um, IJM is an alternate exterior angle, so equivalent or congruent. And HJK is a corresponding angle to NMJ, so also congruent. All of the other ones are 180 minus 55, 
is 125. Every other angle, this one, this one, this one, and this one, are 125 degrees. So I, J, H, I, J, H, that's 125 degrees. Oops. One more. The measure of KJL is 116.6. KJL, 116.6. So is this angle, so is this angle, so is this angle. All of the other angles are 180 minus 116.6, which is 63.4. So this is 63.4. And so are all of the other ones. So HJE or HGE, HGE is that one of those green ones. So 63.4 degrees. Okay. So once you know one angle, uh, three other angles are congruent to that angle, and the other four angles are supplementary to that angle. And those are the kind of relationships that are formed when a transversal cuts through a pair of uh, parallel lines. Good luck and let me know how it goes.